morning everybody it is Monday morning um, October something <laughs> I think it's actually the 8th of October probably I know it's 9 19 a.m. because I'm in the car and I can see the clock I am headed out to run a whole bunch of errands including picking up some more pieces for the art room floor if I go get them hopefully we can get the installation done ASAP um, just makes it a little bit faster because the install faster because the installers don't have to go to Lowe's and go get it hopefully that's a that's the thought behind it anyway um, and I have another load of cardboard I need to take to recycling and a bunch of other like miscellaneous little errands I'm gonna go try to get them all done this morning before lunch and check out the local Dollar Tree stuff like that so let's get going I do want to say two things. Uh, one, I have recently started a Patreon page. The link is in the description below. I have not started it with the intention of pulling content from YouTube. Nope, 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 nope. Um, some content may be on YouTube that's a speed through, but then if you want the full explanation of what I've done and why I've done it, it'll be over on Patreon. Um, it's just an effort to raise some funds and um, start having the art pay something. Um, I don't mean to uh, discourage or offend anyone by doing it and I put off doing it for a really, really long time. Um, it's more like a subscription or class page, at least that's how I'm gonna run it. It's not a free let's beg for money page. Um, and there are classes available at um, almost all the price levels um, from the lowest to the almost the highest so um, including some old classes from Crazy Island University and stuff that I actually filmed even before that so um, none of it is super great for filming quality um, but I think there's some good information there and if you are a former Crazy Island University student and you're upset that I've done that you because you paid something you know more for the classes message me because we'll work out something um, also in um, the live broadcast yesterday for intervals of sanity with my friends Peg Robinson Cindy Utter Carla McCants uh, Vicki Brown and Leslie McGrath um, we went off on a tangent about big girl panties and it turned into something I think might be pretty special although evidently some people are taking offense so we are going to get an oversized large pair of panties we're going to decorate them um, as the artists we are and then we are going to accept donations for ovarian cancer and um, the uh, names uh, for everyone who donates will be put into a hat and one winner will be drawn that will get those pair of panties um, and um, it's just a way of raising money for a good cause, um, bringing attention to the huge gigantic problem that cancer is, um, especially cancers like ovarian cancer that have almost no symptoms until it's too late. So, and Peg Robinson, uh, my friend, dear friend, and our fearless leader over on Intervals of Sanity is an ovarian cancer survivor. So. I guess there was some backlash last night on other channels and I'm not going to go into details but we don't mean to offend anybody we're just trying to it did start out as a you know a, a funny joke and then quickly turned into a fabulous idea that we think could really raise funds for a really good cause so so we're to do that and we encourage other artists to do the same and um, yeah let's get together and um, you know show the world the power that we women and artists have to raise money for a really good cause and you know try to bring an end to um, horrible diseases like ovarian cancer so anyway that's my little speech for the, for the day I'll put the link to the fundraiser um, page on uh, I think it's on a fa on Facebook in the description below and uh, yeah I think it's gonna be a lot of fun and it will be of course funny because it's a gigantic pair of panties and you know we're gonna paint it and it's gonna be funny um, yes and we're going to have fun with it but all joking aside cancer is a big problem 
and the big pair of panties hopefully will emphasize that big problem that it is. Anyway, that's it, my speech for the day. I'm gonna go run my errands, I'll be back. Dollar Tree's next to Joanne's. I don't really need anything, but we're gonna pop in and check it out. I don't know what it is about Dollar Trees, but they're always in the worst shopping center in not a great neighborhood, like traditionally, at least in California. Tiger doesn't seem to be any different. Anyway, all right, super big Joanne store, much bigger than the one we had in San Jose. Um, so tempted to buy some knit fabric for a project I've been thinking about and are planning for quite a while now, but they only had the fabric. They didn't have the notions I would need. I know, a sewing project. Um, so I'm just as tempted to order online and that way get everything at once that I might need. And I don't need to do it right now because I can't get to my sewing machine anyway. So on to the next place. Hey guys, um, we're going to make some eco printed paper today. I had most of the stuff to do this with already. I'm not going to give you specific instructions because it's not this particular way of doing it's not my idea. I saw it on someone else's channel, and I'm gonna link their channel in the description below. I recommend you go watch it. She talks about what she uses, why she's doing it, what works, what doesn't. So I'm gonna experiment and play with what I have. Last night my husband and I went for a walk and I picked up some things from nature and put them in a Ziploc bag and stuck it in the fridge so that they don't get too wilty. And then I just went outside to the backyard and picked some more things. So we're going to give it a try. Uh, per her recommendations, I have three bottle, spray bottles. One is, the pink one is vinegar and water. The blue one is alum powder dissolved in water. And this one is coffee and water. So we are going to see what kind of prints we can make. And I will be right back. that I got done. Now I will say like she says in her video some of the flowers will leave a little bit of residue on the paper that you have to then gently wash off, wash off. and if you've used printer paper like I have um, if you're not careful you're gonna get little tears. 
Um, so be careful. Um, I wouldn't probably with this iron method use paper that's too thick because you do kind of need to press and I don't know I don't know I don't think too thick a paper would work very well but that being said probably something that has more cotton rag in it might tear less um, but look at these look at these that's all I can say is look at these I will probably be scanning some of them um, and putting them in my Etsy shop I will be doing more definitely I will be doing more so cool. I will be trying uh, boiling next, which is something she does on her channel, but I haven't watched those videos yet. May, May Mary, um, I think that's the name of her channel, Small Art. Um, she did um, boiling on her channel. I won't be using one of my kitchen pots. I'm going to go thrift for one, so it's going to take me a little bit to get set up for that, but I love these. The plain leaves didn't do much. They did a little bit, but they didn't do too much. On this one, I just completely like. <laughs> uh, they're almost dry. They're not completely dry. The flowers from my yard did a great job. And the leaves did better if you sprayed them with the alum and some of the vinegar and then did a, a top spray of the watered down coffee. Then you got, and you really had to like put the iron on them a little longer than the flowers to get a print. But when you did, if you had the right leaves, you had a really interesting print. So give it a try and go watch her. I'll link both videos that I uh, mentioned in the description below. Go check them out and uh, yeah, show them some love, like, share, and subscribe. That's it for right now. I hope you all have a great day. Don't forget to do something nice for yourself because you deserve it and be a decent human. That's it. Bye. <music>
the fence contractors, they're going to be working on the back fence. We'll talk about that in a minute because I have no idea what I said in yesterday's clip. So I'm going to maybe be repeating myself a little bit. Um, I also am waiting on the bug people to come spray one more time this quarter and then they won't be back for a couple months. Um, the house is, hasn't been lived in much, so um, like any new home that's been kind of vacant or semi-vacant, um, you know, there's usually some issues with insects or whatever. So um, the last house we bought there was, but it was vacant a year and a half, um, and it had an ant and spider issue also. <laughs> so I don't know. We seem to like those kind of houses. I don't know. Uh, anyway, so we have bug service. Um, but when we were having the old backyard fence demolished yesterday, um, unbeknownst to us, because it wasn't disclosed, and the contractor, because you couldn't see it um, with the fence up, you, just, you couldn't even tell. He had no idea until he started demolishing the fence. There's a retaining wall back there, four feet from my patio, holding my backyard up, and it wasn't built correctly. It was rotten and falling down. And yeah, just tack on another, you know, I don't know, $1,500 to my bill. If it's less than $4,000, i am going to be shocked as crap. For one little back fence that's probably, I don't know, 35, 40 feet, it's not that big. Not compared to the old house. But, you know... Anyway, wasn't disclosed, we had no idea, wasn't built correctly, it's not to code. Probably there's nothing we can do about it, but I let our realtor know. Talk about stressful. And then I also, uh, sorry, I'm switching hands, my arm's tired. Um, I also realized last night that I hadn't heard from the Lowe's flooring installers yet, even though I went and picked up um, all but one piece of trim that's in. I told them I don't want to wait for the last piece. We'll install it ourselves when it comes in. Um, they said, okay, we'll get the installers to call you and set something up. I haven't heard anything. That was all Monday. So I called this morning and he, a very nice young man named Mike, said, they haven't called you yet. I call, I messaged them, you know, Monday. Uh, I said, no. He said, I'm going to get a hold of them again and see what we can do because I still don't have a floor. So I can only run so much art business without my stuff. <laughs> so I really, really, really need them to get that floor in so I can try to get my room semi back together. It's been since August now. It's just not okay with me. I'm just done with that part. Um, the San Jose house still hasn't sold. We still own two homes. We're paying a bunch of different money loans to people. And yeah, bleeding funds at the moment. So put some good energy out there that it sells and that the right people just haven't, you know, seen it yet, but that they will. And, you know, I have also been hearing about people, uh, because of the storms, um, losing everything they own. I've heard of a couple people that I know that are friends of friends that are actually passing from cancer and just, you know, I wish them all well. My troubles aside, I wish them all well. Um, I know one person in particular, I won't name names or anything, that is passing actually from cancer, and I wish for them a peaceful passing. That's just horrible. And, um, yeah, so it's been quite a week. <laughs> I also have to go grocery shopping today, but I can't go anywhere until the contractors come and the bug people come. Yeah. <laughs> so I did my daily postings. I do need to update the website. Um, again, for the design team and uh, yeah, I've got a little bit of video to edit. I've got some, the design team call, which there will be one for 2019. Uh, by the time you all see this, um, that application should be out. So I will link it in the description below. Um, but as of the filming of this clip, um, I haven't made the official design team call yet, but there will be one for my product line for 2019. I have to um, make some tweaks to the application and then get that clip filmed and get everything out on YouTube. So, ay, ay, ay. it's always something. All right, and I got asked yesterday if I would do some water, if I'm going to do any more watercolor tutorials. The answer is yes, but I have to be able to get to my stuff. I really, 
I tried to film something the other day and I was on the floor and that was just, yeah, <laughs> it didn't work for me and I couldn't stand up straight afterwards. Anyway, I just got a message from the bug people. They'll be here between eight and 12. It's after eight, so maybe closer to 12. All right, I'll be back. I just spent a minute talking to the phone and the record button wasn't on. You know, it's just gonna be one of those days. I don't know what to say. The bug guy is gone. Um, Scott, my contractor fence guy is working on the fence and I need to go to the grocery store and Bandit's in his crate so he's safe and sound taking a nap snoring like the old dog he is. So I'm gonna head to the store and I'll be back. <music> Hey guys, good morning. It is 8.43 a.m. It is Friday, October 12th. Don't get all excited or anything. I only know that because I'm sitting in front of the computer. Yes, I still have no floor in the art room, <laughs> but the very nice gal, Debbie over at Lowe's and the guy that works in the flooring department, Brad, over at the Tiger Lowe's are working on it, thankfully. Um, I am not blaming the delay on the staff at the store um, but there is a lack of communication between the contractors and the store which I think is a problem and um, the store is woefully understaffed like I can't even tell you guys how understaffed it is I've never seen a hardware store that needs more employees so desperately um, anyway <sighs> waiting on the tree guy to come and a tree guy hello fence guy to come and continue work on the fence and the surprise retaining wall we didn't know we had. Um, he's going to be back. Scott's going to be back today to dig the rest of the holes and get the posts in. Um, he had some trouble with that yesterday. He ended up having to run an auger and then he had problems with the auger and like, yeah, it was just like a comedy of errors and one thing after the other. So anyway, um, he's working on that and Um, we also um, are um, expecting my brother to come into town today, so I have to go pick him up at the airport. I was just doing today's thoughts on Facebook about that. Um, that was one of the things that was in today's thoughts because it is funny. I'm a bit nervous. I used to get tr uh, lost trying to pick th people up at the San Jose airport, um, keeping in mind I grew up in the California San Jose Bay Area. Um, yeah, so finding PDX, that's going to be a lot of fun. I'm gonna need early, need to leave early, and I need to get gas. Yeah, so anyway. Um, I need to update the website again uh, in the next couple of days, so I'm gonna try to work on that today in between picking up people and everything. And um, yeah, fun times. I'll be back. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> Technically, it's still morning. <laughs> it is 11. Uh, o'clock ish. I am covered in dog hair. Mr. B is in the back seat and um, you can't see it, but yeah, I'm just covered in this. Um, we are headed to our first trip to the VET. So uh, the new one. So wish us luck. <laughs> I'll be back. Alright guys, that's it for the week. Mr. Bandit checked out just fine. His blood work did finally come back a couple days after the last clip that you saw and he um, is just fine. I mean, he's getting older, but he's he's okay. Um, that's it for the moment. I have a busy week ahead and there's a lot going on. I'll clue you in when I can. Um, don't forget to um, keep an eye on the Etsy store because there's new stuff coming out. Um, pretty regularly right now as often as I can get it out and I've got a bunch of designs in my head I need to get out um, on paper or electronically so I'm going to be working on that uh, in the coming uh, week or so and then um, talking to my vendors to see who can make me what. Um, that's it for the moment. Um, have a great day. Have a great week. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. Support your small YouTubers 
and your small shop, um, creative shop owners, um, like of course myself, I would appreciate it. Um, Mike Deacon, Shannon Green, and there's a number of others. Why don't you leave your favorite one in the description below? That's it for right now. Like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Bye, guys.